Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bald Guy Ace and I'm back again. I know I said I was back in the last video. This time I hope I am really back. The only way to know for sure though is to subscribe to me. So it would be awesome if you guys could hit that subscribe button right below this video and that way you can find out when I post every one of my future videos. And hopefully I will be doing that much more often now. I got a new computer set up. It makes it really easy to record. Instead of just editing videos, I may start going live on YouTube again. I had been going live on Twitch, but I know a lot of you guys don't actually use Twitch, and so I might start doing YouTube again. That way you guys can catch me playing Grotopia live. But either way, it would be awesome if you guys could hit that subscribe button, especially if you've been watching my videos in the past and you enjoy them. That way I can hopefully get to 10,000 subscribers. That's my next goal. Uh, I was fortunate enough, after my last video, I think I got about 800 subscribers, which was super awesome. But uh, now I'm at about 8,500 subscribers, and it would be really cool if I can actually hit 10,000. Uh, so hopefully with your guys' help, we'll be able to get there, and that would be really great. All right, guys, let's get right into the video. This is my 11th video in my series, Road to 100 DLs. Uh, the series has been pretty awesome. I enjoy doing it. It's fun. I've been actually learning a lot of stuff from you guys, different strategies and things like that. So hopefully we will get to 100 DLs. We're more than halfway there now. Okay, so those of you that saw the video title or the thumbnail, it may have been a little misleading. So Harvest Fest is not actually happening in April. It actually happens in September. But I actually recorded the video of myself playing Grotopia during Harvest Fest in September when it happened. And I just got around to finally making a video. And so that is why it's happening now in April. Um, but it's still useful because what I did was I harvested 10,000 chandelier trees, which I had planted in my four farms. And then I went around and I collected all of the mooncakes that I got and I tallied up how many total balanced mooncakes I got from harvesting 10,000 chandelier seeds. So it is actually a useful video, even though it's in April and Harvest Fest is in September because it'll enable you to actually get ready for Harvest Fest and hopefully have an idea of how many balanced mooncakes you can get from a certain amount of trees. So in this video right now, what you're seeing me do in the background is I am harvesting up all of those 10,000 chandelier trees and I am leaving the stuff on the ground right now and then after I go through and I harvest all of the chandelier trees I then go back through and I collect all of the stuff that is on the ground which is mainly mooncakes during Harvest Fest. For those of you that don't know what Harvest Fest is, Harvest Fest is an event in Grotopia that happens in September and what it is is whenever you harvest trees in addition to the regular seeds and gems that you get you also get mooncakes. And the balanced mooncakes, which are a special kind of mooncake that you get, they allow you to create song pins, which then enable you to create a harvester. And a harvester is what lets you use fuel to double some of your occasional crops when you harvest. So it's actually one of the key items in Grotopia if you're a farmer in Grotopia. So because of that, balanced mooncakes are actually pretty expensive. So if you're looking to make some extra world locks, harvesting your trees during harvest week is definitely a good way to go. When I first started playing Grotopia about a year and a half ago, Harvest Fest was actually the very first thing that I did in order to gain world locks. And it's what really helped me to be able to expand my farm and then go into all the other things that I did to make world locks and DLs. So I would highly recommend when September comes around, if you remember and you happen to be online, definitely plant some trees and harvest them during the Harvest Fest week. By the way, as you can see, I am speeding up this video because it actually took me over an hour just to harvest all of the trees because every few trees that you harvested, a random ghost would pop out and slow me down and it took forever. So there was no way I could keep the real video in because it was over an hour long and that was just harvesting. Then I actually had to go around and collect everything and that took a while too because I had to dodge all the ghosts that were floating all around. So it was uh, quite a procedure. It took over two hours to do it but I sped it all up for you guys into this short video. Um, while we're watching this take place, uh, if you guys have any opinions on Grotopia, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any other games that you've been playing lately, I know a lot of you guys play Grotopia, some of you don't play it anymore. Let me know if there's other games that you play in the comments below, and maybe I'll take a look at those games and see, uh, see what they're like. Um, but I'm still planning on playing Grotopia. Uh, Grotopia is a fun game, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, leave a comment below the video and just kind of let me know what you guys are up to or if you have any suggestions for my channel or what you think uh, I should do on it. By the way, guys, if you happen to watch this far into the video, it'd be super cool if you could hit that like button. Also, if you're not already subscribed, if you could subscribe, that would be great as well. I'm really trying to get those numbers up there. That way I can continue making videos and get as many of you guys to see my videos as possible. 
So that'd be really cool, guys. Also, if you want to spread the word, feel free to tell your friends. Uh, that would be awesome as well. So what do you guys think about the latest items of the month? I, you know, I, because I haven't played in so long, uh, there's so many items of the month that came out that I have just not seen. I don't know what they're like or anything. So let me know in the comments what items of the month that you've used recently that you like. Uh, I played, when I played, there was the Rain Man's Fist and um, those different items that were like really useful. But I heard there's some other cool items that came out um, besides the Rayman's Fist and the Magplant. So feel free to let me know down below in the comments which items you guys like the best that came out since the Magplant and the Rayman's Fist. So one other thing I've been wondering about, guys, is after I stopped playing, it seems like the big world thing to do now for farmers is to make a BFG world. Uh, and I believe that stands for Break for Gems. And I think you set it up by using your mag plants so players can actually come into your farm and use your mag plants and break your blocks without you having to actually be there. They can actually use the remote and place the blocks in their little area and then break them as much as they want. That way you don't have to be there to refill it. So I think that's the way it works. I sounds It sounds pretty awesome to me. So I am going to look into how I can build one. And if I can, I will definitely go ahead and do that. That would be really cool because I know BGA Break, which was my original Break world, that was set up the old way. So I think I'm going to try to figure out a way to get a BFG world going, and that would be pretty cool. So uh, also let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. Sorry, I know there's a lot of stuff I'm asking for in the comments. Feel free to comment on all of the things I'm asking about or one of the things or none of the things, um, but whatever you feel like doing. Oh, and I'm also trying to get my Instagram up and going again. Um, I mean, I've always had it, but I haven't really been posting that much on it. I want to start posting more stuff, some Grotopia stuff, but also some in real life pics. Um, it's Bald Guy Ace, just like my YouTube is, and my Twitch is also Bald Guy Ace. But it'd be great if you could follow me on Instagram. I have about a thousand followers, but it'd be cool if uh, all the 8,000 subscribers on my YouTube would also follow me on, on Instagram. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, then I'd have more of a reason to post more pics. Um, but either way, I'm going to try to post more stuff. So that'll be pretty cool. I'm also going to try to get my Twitch going, but I may stream on Twitch different games instead of Grotopia. I'll probably do Grotopia Live on YouTube since I think that's what most people use that play Grotopia. But on my Twitch, if you want to watch me play other games, I'll probably start streaming some other games on Twitch as well. So uh, feel free to follow me on my Twitch as well. So my Twitch, my Instagram. I do have a Twitter. I don't really use it that much, but feel free to follow me there. Maybe I'll start tweeting as well. All right. So uh, at this point, I am done harvesting all of the chandelier trees. And now I am done collecting all of the stuff that dropped from the trees. And then I started organizing all of the moon cakes into my world BGA, just kind of on the ground. Um, Cause I really just want to know how many balance moon cakes I got. And the other moon cakes I got thousands of, but they don't really sell for that much. So it's really not that important how many of those you get. But what, was re what I really wanted to know is when I harvest 10,000 chandeliers, how many balanced mooncakes do I get? Now keep in mind, I did use a harvester with fuel to harvest. So there is a chance that a couple of times when I got a balanced mooncake that it doubled if it happened to trigger at the same time that my fuel was used. But uh, that's pretty rare. So uh, it's still probably around the same amount whether or not you use fuel. So here we go, guys. I went and put a vending machine in the center of my world and I put all of the balanced mooncakes that I got from these 10,000 chandelier trees in this vending machine and the total that we have is 60 balanced mooncakes now personally i actually thought that was a low amount because 10,000 chandelier trees i feel like that would get me more than 60 balanced mooncakes but nevertheless that's what i ended up with you know it's a little bit of luck so you never know it could be low it could be high but you know it's 60 i'm okay with 60. Um, i went to the world buy balance and i checked what people were buying and selling things for it seemed like they were buying them for like between 11 and 12 world locks per um, moon cake, balanced moon cake. Um, and so for now, I priced it in my vending machine at 13 world locks per balanced moon cake. Um, but I may lower it depending if nobody buys. But uh, for now, it's 13 world locks per balanced moon cake. I also have more SSP packs that I need to open so I can restock BGA, which is an SSP vend world. Uh, I'm going to hopefully do that. My prices are probably out of whack because I haven't played in so many months. So I may adjust my prices a little bit. But yeah, hopefully I have an, at least a 12,000 more packs I need to open. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to restock BGA fairly soon. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Sorry I took so long to post another video. 
hopefully I will continue to post a lot faster in the future and hopefully I'll start going live as well. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you can find out when I go live and also when I post future videos. Uh, oh, if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you could also hit that like button. Uh, my Instagram is baldguyace. Feel free to follow me there as well. I really appreciate you guys still continuing to watch me after all this time. And until my next video, I'm Bald Guy Ace, reminding you to embrace the baldness.